Hey, my name is Liz and I sell on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. Today I have, I think it's part two. I filmed one part where I am showing everything that I'm bringing to Plato's and Once Upon a Child. And then this is the part of all of the things that I'm going to sell myself from what I picked up at the Goodwill outlet. Um, this is a uh, trip two days in a row and I ended up getting like 120 pounds of stuff which is a ton um, but I've already brought things to Plato's and I've gotten rid of um, 66 I think things between Plato's and Once Upon a Child already so we're making great progress there um, and this is the more exciting stuff that I'm going to be selling myself on the online reselling platforms so let's get into it none of this i have listed yet so i don't know the prices but um if i have listed some stuff before i publish this video i will put in a photo of my listing and you can see what i have chosen to sell it for um the first piece is j crew and it is a blazer and this one has this really fun scallop collar I love that style um, I think this is fairly current like maybe 2019 or so 2018 um, J crew blazers always do really well and this is such a fun unique style I don't think I've ever sold one with the scalloped trim before These are some Anthropology shorts. They are Pilcro, and this is a newer tag from Pilcro. They are corduroy in this fun print, um, size 30. And hopefully these do well. I don't pick up um, much old Pilcro, but I thought these were pretty fun. And I'm filming this in May, so those are definitely in season. So that helps as well. I grabbed two ties. I think these are the only ties I picked up today. Ties are great from the bins because you are um, paying very little for them. I don't remember if I said, but my Goodwill, I pay $1.99 a pound as long as I hit 50 pounds, which I try to do every time that I go. This is a Tommy Hilfiger tie, and I grabbed it mostly because I picked up three Tommy Hilfiger ties um, a couple weeks ago when I went to the bins. So I'm just going to add this into the bundle of those. Part of my dog's squeaking toy. This is Mason. And the other tie is a Michael Kors. And this is Michael Kors, not Michael Michael Kors. So it's a higher quality tie. I believe it's a wool blend. And it's very academia style. That one is nice. They're so easy to list and so light at the bins that when it's a decent brand, it's hard to pass them up. We have some kids jeans. I pick up quite a bit of Zara kids. Some of it I take to Once Upon a Child, but these are an awesome style. They, I bet, made these exact jeans in an adult size. They're like a wide leg cargo pocket very current. I think those will do fantastic for some trendy little kid. This is another kid's piece and this is the brand Kiki Pants, which is definitely one you should look out for. They are known for making bamboo clothing. And this is the first time I've found anything that wasn't like a traditional pajama piece. So it's, it still is bamboo and it's very stretchy, but it's this adorable sushi print and it's fleece lined and then there's um sherpa in this little hood with these little like bear ears such a cute piece um i think that will do fantastic another kids piece is janny and jack which is definitely a kids brand that is worth picking up this is a little sweater dress really cute um, I think it's 100% cotton. Their stuff is great quality and it's expensive retail, so it does hold some value for reselling. This is Chico's, and I find quite a bit of Chico's Travelers, 
which as soon as you touch it in the bins, you know it is very stretchy. It's, I don't know how to describe this material besides that I just know that it's Chico's Travelers, but it's like, you couldn't wrinkle this no matter how much you just like shoved it in a ball in your suitcase. It's a great material. It's kind of heavy, but this is a really fun skirt with like fringe down the side and at the hem. Um, a lot of the time I will pick up Chico's to send to thread up, but I like the style of this one enough to try and sell it myself. And this is also one that I considered just sending in to thread up, but I'm going to try and list it, I think. So this is Talbot's and it is petite, but it is brand new with the tags and it's this really nice skirt. It's like velvet floral, but it shows up so nice on the camera, which I noticed earlier as well. Um, that that's kind of why I decided to try and list it myself instead of just sending it right into thread up because I think it will photograph really nicely. So, um, I have sold some Talbot stuff and it does sell. Okay. Mostly I've sold pants of theirs and I do find it new with tags kind of often, which is weird, but I have sold some stuff and it does sell, but, um, not always a quick mover. So sometimes I just send it to thread up. So it's not sitting around my house for too long. We have a bra. I think this is the only true bra I got and I picked up um, a bralette or two, but this is Third Love, which when it first came out was really popular. And the first couple times I found it, it sold so fast. The last time or two has not, but at the bins, bras are super light and it's a 38E, so it's a good size but we will see how this one does. It's, I'm gonna say it's like a t-shirt bra. We have some jeans. So these were sitting just on top of a picked over bin. I was pretty surprised. These are frame um, and they are the Le Ome Slim, which I believe is a men's one. So they are just a black, kind of not quite a skinny, but they are definitely a skinnier jean. And I think I've sold this style once or twice. I don't pick up a ton of frame anymore, but men's still does well. And at the bins, I'm definitely gonna pick up $250 retail jeans because you'd be crazy not to. I lied, I did have one more tie. So this one is J. Crew. It is a skinnier tie, and this one is um like a thicker material. Let's see. Um, linen and cotton. So it's got this fun floral print would definitely be cool for like weddings or like, you know, it, it would be kind of weird to wear this in New Jersey here, but I feel like people could definitely wear this to occasion weddings. Um, that's a fun little piece. Here we have some Lululemon. I think I found three pieces of Lulu. I believe that these are Align leggings. They are in good shape. They are just plain black, um, a size four, and they have the code in them. So they're at least recent enough to be able to look up. And I think those will do just fine. Lulu definitely doesn't sell as well as it did a few years ago, but at the bins, um, it's pretty rare that I won't pick up a piece. Is this the other pair? No. Okay. This is another pair of leggings, or I call them yoga pants. They're now branded as flare leggings. But these are from Aerie, and they have the crossover waist, which is probably... Hard to tell with black, but I found these once before. They sold so fast, so hopefully these will sell as fast as before. But um, they're a very popular style, apparently. Did come across a couple bathing suits. So this one isn't tied quite right, but you can kind of get the gist. That's the front, and then the back is pretty open. And this one is Trina Turk, and... It has 
a sample tag in it. So um, it says that it's a sample style, size six, kaleidoscope, high leg. It has like this Bloomingdale's tag in it from um, a 2019 sample. So that's fun. It's always interesting to find pieces like that. So um, I love finding one pieces at the bins because you don't have to worry about finding the second, um, you know, match to it. And, uh, you know, just easy to pick up one piece. They're very easy to list and take care of. Another bathing suit that I found is this one piece. And this is from Adore Me, which I didn't know they made swim. I've come across bras and like sleepwear from them before, but found this cute one piece. It's a size XL, which is awesome. And I will see how that one does. Yeah, this is definitely the first time I've sold swim from this brand before. Just a whole pile of swim here. This one is kids and I've sold this bathing suit before. The brand is Ruffle Butts and that is why they are named that. They don't all have it, but a lot of them do. Um, this one is this super cute uh, flamingo print. It has a tiny bit of wear to it, but not um, too much that I wasn't willing to pick it up. And this is just such a cute style that I love when I find anything from this brand. And then we have a men's bathing suit and this is actually vintage Lily Pulitzer, which you know is my favorite brand if you watch this channel often. So this is a men's bathing suit and older men's Lily actually does really well because for quite a while, Lily was not making men's styles. So your only option was to find older pieces. So it's pretty rare um, in comparison to say older women's pieces, but um, this is in really good shape and excited to have found some men's Lily, especially at the bins. We have a sleep sack here and I do pick these up occasionally, but this is one that I have not heard of this brand before and that is Woolino. So the inside is Merino wool, which is, or you know, should be a higher quality product. Um, I will look into this. I just haven't yet. Um, so if it's really not worth anything, then I'll throw it in my once upon a child box for next time that I go. But um, based on materials, I'm guessing this is a more expensive sleep sack. So hopefully gardeners some higher prices on the resale market. This is a, another J. Crew piece, and this is a men's vest, which is a really cool piece to come across. It has the, like, you can cinch it in the back thing, but I've never picked up a piece like this from J. Crew before. Seems like really nice quality. These are the kinds of pieces that are great to pick up from J. Crew because they're made with a great material and kind of a classic timeless piece. This is one of a couple free people pieces and this is like it's not really crochet but it's some kind of knit top with all this fringe on the sleeves and the bottom really cute um the only problem is that it's like very stringy but i'm guessing because they're all raw edges that that's kind of how it's meant to be so i trimmed some of like the really long ones but overall i think this is probably kind of how it's supposed to be. You know, free people is half of the time kind of looks like it's falling apart. This was kind of just a fun pickup. So this is a shirt from Bucky's, which if you have never been to one is the most insane like gas station you've ever seen. It's like a mall inside, but this one, I don't know if this is Texas or it kind of reminded me of like Arizona, but I don't know if they have them in Arizona. But it says stuck on Bucky's on the back. Um, if this isn't worth me listing, I'll see if Play-Dohs will take it. Um, but hoping I can get like 15 bucks for selling that one. Here is a Zara top. And this one is a button up blouse in like a cream. And it's kind of, it's not really embroidered. But I don't know what, almost like matte lisse kind of material but really good shape, 
just a nicer basic piece. Um, I did definitely take some Zara to Plato's, but I think they would probably say this is like too mature for them. So I have to sell that one myself. Here is another bathing suit. I think this is the only non one piece that I picked up and it is the brand Triangle which was insanely popular about 10 years ago for these neoprene bathing suits. Now this is not that, this is more of like a sparkly material, but was super excited to find both pieces. They're both the same size, which is definitely always something to look at when picking up um, separate bathing suit pieces. Um, not to say that I won't pick them up if they aren't the same size, but I find it's an easier sale if they are. So I've only sold this brand once or twice. So that was a fun little find. And this is a brand I have found a couple times. It's the Ragged Priest. It is oftentimes sold on Dolls Kill, which is a site that has some brands that are definitely worth looking out for. So this is like a sweater tank top with these kind of raw stitches on them and these strings hanging off which are definitely intentional and their stuff is definitely more edgy punk um funky kind of styles pretty much everything from dolls kill i would consider like goth punk that kind of style but that one is fun another free people piece we have these are intimately free people and they are either like pajama pants or lounge pants of some kind. They are, they aren't waffle knit, but they remind me of waffle knit with this waistband at the top. Really good condition, size medium. It's always nice when you find free people that is not an extra small, but these were a interesting pickup. I haven't sold any free people quite like that one before. This is definitely an active brand to be on the lookout for. Um, I feel like active brands go in and out all the time, but this is a pretty popular one right now. And that is set active. And sometimes it'll just say set, but this is a bra from them. I would not consider this a sports bra. If it is, it is extremely low impact. I would consider this more of like a bralette lounge bra in this waffle knit, but really cute style. I was hoping to find the matching piece to it, leggings or pants or something, but I didn't, but still happy to grab the bra part. These were on all in the same bin and it ended up being a fantastic starting bin for me. Um, I found quite a few of like some of my best pieces of the haul in this bin. So I saw this sitting on top and I knew that this was a Disney print. So normally when we go in for um, the start of a fresh round, so my store flips half the store at a time um, and makes you line up for it and stuff. So you kind of get to pick which bin you end up at. So I normally look out for a tag, something that looks interesting or expensive to me. Um, or print that stands out to me. So I saw this, knew it was Disney, was like, all right, I'll at least grab this. So this is a um, like button down, kind of Hawaiian style shirt with, it's either, I, I wanna say as a East Coaster that this is a Magic Kingdom shirt. I don't know if it's meant to be Magic Kingdom or Disneyland, but either way, it's, um, definitely Disney and I think this will sell really well and then in that same bin there ended up being two more Disney Hawaiian shirts so this one is also really cool with the castle and the partner statue which is Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse on it on the front and then the back is like sky so this one is also really cool and I'm pretty sure these are fairly recent like within the last year or two. This one's from the 50th so it's like less than two years old. I don't think the other one said the 50th on it. And then this third one I think is like I want to say Wally. 
but I don't think this is Wally, but maybe, yeah, I, I guess it's Wally. So this one is just all Wally on it, but I don't remember seeing these until the last few years. So I think they're fairly recent. So those were some really fun finds that ended up leading me to even better finds than those couple of pieces. One of those finds was this jacket, which I threw in just because I touched it and it's super soft fleece. So I was like, oh, maybe it's North Face or something. And it ended up being Free People Movement in a size large. So I think this will do really well. It's definitely oversized, really cute color, great condition. So that was a really fun piece to find. This is another bathing suit. And this one was not a brand I was familiar with but I grabbed it anyway, and um, it is Jolin. And I think it seems to be Australian. Um, sewn in the US, the Melbourne style. So I don't know, I will look it up. Um, if it's not something worth me selling, then I'll just toss it in my thread up bin and um, it'll end up there. But I think this was a cool style. I actually found another piece from Set Active. They were in totally different rotations. So I don't think they had any connection to each other. These are a pair of gray leggings. They have ribbing down the side. A high rise they're pretty basic i think like a seamless kind of lagging but um super exciting this is not a brand that i come across very often and it's definitely a good activewear brand we have some abercrombie i think i found a couple other abercrombie pieces i find it pretty often but i don't remember how many i found this day this is like a faux suede cami um, it's kind of not like the most substantial piece, but I figured I'd give it a shot before I try and take it to Play-Dohs because they don't always take like tank tops from me um, because I think they get a ton of tank tops. So figured I would give this one a shot first. This is another piece I'm not totally sure about, but wanted to give a shot. And if it's not worth something, I'll take it to Play-Dohs. I probably, once upon a child, not Play-Dohs. Probably should have looked some of these up before, but I was just trying to get that stuff in and out so I could get that video filmed too. But um, this is Turtle Dove London, which I had not heard of, but it's a little set. So the sweatpants and the sweatshirt, um, always fun when you can find the match to stuff. So I think it's probably a decent enough brand to sell the set, but if not, um, Once Upon a Child will totally take that from me. I forgot, this was with uh, those Disney shirts as well. And this one, I'm not 100% sure what this is. So it says Walt Disney World Preview Center. So I need to do a little research on this because I don't know what the heck Preview Center is. Um, it has some kind of interesting characters on it. Um, so... Maybe that's worth something interesting or it could be some weird cast piece or I'm not sure. So that one was kind of surprising. We have another bathing suit. So this one is actually a two piece set and it has a little bit of fuzzing that I'm going to try and get off. But um, it is torrid and we have the bottom and the matching top. They are the same size. And even if I can't get the little bit of fuzzing on the bottom off, I think I could still probably sell this for like 15 bucks since I found the matching set. I usually try not to pick up stuff, but I didn't really realize that until afterwards. So I'm gonna try and, you know, make something on it back. Some more free people. This one is We The Free. This is a long sleeve striped shirt, very boxy fit but a typical free people oversized item. We have a little designer. This is not one I find very often. So this is Marnie. 
And these are from the 2012 edition. They are just a pair of dress pants. They are more of a wide leg with a little cuff at the bottom. I figured I would give them a shot first before I just automatically send them to somewhere like the Real Real. Um, but if they don't sell quickly or sometimes like plain dress pants are really hard to photograph and you can't find a style name and it's hard to make them like, you know, stick out enough on Poshmark for a listing that I do end up sending them to someone else to sell just because there's a million pairs of dress pants listed on Poshmark. Why are those special? You know, that kind of stuff. And this is also designer as well. And this is Missoni or M Missoni, I think is the line. It's this little tank top with some of the Missoni style. Now this one does have a stain on the bottom that we're going to try and get out in the wash. Um, I think it will come out. It kind of looks like it's just makeup. So hoping that one comes out nice and clean. Um, I did pick up this band tee and this is Demi Lovato and it's from 2014. I know she does have a following. I have no idea if this is worth very much, but um, I find so few t-shirts because my bins is filled with crazy t-shirt guys, vintage bros. So um, anytime I find anything remotely fun in t-shirt form, I do grab it because it's very rare that I come across anything. Another really cute kids piece that is Zara again. This is a little gingham dress. I love this one. Um, this is definitely a Zara piece that is worth me selling myself. And the style is just adorable. I think this is Zara as well. This one is a little sweatshirt. Could definitely send this one into play, uh, Once Upon a Child. I did send a couple Zara pieces to them, but I liked this one so we're gonna give that one a shot i'll probably only make around 10 bucks on it but i have sold a ton of zara kids pieces this one actually smells really good too I have some brandy melville and i did bring one two pieces to brand of brandy to plato's they took one of them um and this is the third piece of brandy that i found it's um like very stretchy but kind of a polo sweater type piece. Um, I would consider bringing it to Plato's because they do take lots of brandy and it doesn't bring a huge amount on Poshmark, but they won't take this this time of year. So I can either let it sit around until they do take it or try and list it and see if I can sell it myself. This one, I don't know very much about, but I thought it was fun. And it is a crew neck sweatshirt that says Rich Mom Pride. I'm guessing it is something Pride Month related, um, which is coming up very soon. So I want to get this one listed quick. The brand just says Rich Mom, which I have not heard of that. I don't know if it's someone's merch or something interesting like that, but it doesn't really have any other tags. And... We'll see what happens with that. This is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. I don't find it too often, but it has done well the few times that I have, and the label's gonna be hard for you to see, but the brand is Kindred Bravely, and it's either maternity or nursing friendly pieces of clothing. This is a nightgown, and most of their stuff will have these like extra, clasps on them um so that i don't know how to work it okay so they have these clasps so that you can you know nurse or whatever you need to do with these which is really cool um and their stuff sells well every time that i have come across it um just check for wear because most of them are this same like really stretchy jersey knit material and sometimes that does show wash wear pretty easily. Some more Lulu. I think these are Wonder Unders 
and they are a size six and just another nice good condition pair of black lulu leggings i definitely don't pay up for lululemon anymore but if i do find it at the bins you can't beat that this is a brand called clad and cloth which i'm not sure if it's a boutique or like just a small business but i thought the style of this midi dress was really fun for summer um the comps were kind of all over the place and there wasn't a ton to go off of but hoping that i can find their photo of this dress and make it look really cute and that someone who is looking for a nice cottage dress will be all over that this one i am really excited about and i'm hoping that it is worth as much as i am hoping that it is we have a pair of vintage Oshkosh overalls. And I know that there is some vintage Oshkosh that is worth an insane amount of money. I don't know if these are them, but these are old. Um, it is a very paper tag. I wish there was some kind of date made in the USA. I don't see any kind of, you know, idea of how old they are, but I'm going to say they're at least probably older than me. They're at least 30 years old, um, but they're really cute, great condition, and hoping I can try and figure out some kind of dating on these and some value um, for them as well. We have a turtleneck sweater, which is obviously out of season, but I don't care. This is Marine Layer, which is Definitely a brand to keep your eye out for. The more substantial pieces do pretty well. I've come across a couple t-shirts that haven't been great sellers, but I think this one will be. It may take a while for fall to roll around, but I think once it sells, it should bring a nice profit. And another sweater. This one is Abercrombie, more of a classic crew neck type um a little bit cropped i've sold some abercrombie sweaters that have done great for me we have some more designer and i think this is going right to the real real so these are Gerard Durrell. They are just a pair of black trousers. They have a little bit of stretch to them, a little bit of like a sh satin shine to them. But this brand, I just cannot sell. I have come across it a handful of times. Um, the Real Real doesn't price it up crazy, but when I find stuff at the bins, I'm just happy to send some designer stuff that I can't sell there and let them handle it and it's kind of a passive income I, you know i don't have to do much of anything we have some more abercrombie these are the super skinny ankle in high rise jegging which i would not normally pick these up i do find loads of abercrombie jeans at my regular thrift store but i don't buy skinny ones but at the bins i will grab them and let them sit until they do sell um because they will eventually people me do still like skinny jeans some more i don't know if you'd call this designer but it's definitely a more high-end brand so this is misa los angeles and it's this little skirt which is probably a few years old the style isn't quite as popular anymore but i think it will still eventually sell and um you know a designer that i don't come across very often so finding it at the bins was definitely fun mason is apparently very interested in this piece these were some interesting shorts so these are bdg which is urban outfitters and this is how they are meant to look they are supposed to look like they are unbuttoned and folded over which is really unique style choice um i tried to roll them and realized that they are 
sewn like this. So I don't know about that. This one is a brand I've sold once or twice um, with kind of being slow sellers, but I don't come across it too often. It's NBD, which is a Revolve brand. Um, I've only ever come across dresses from them and they're usually kind of clubby dresses. So this one is black with these crazy straps on the back. Kind of a simple dress besides the straps, but we'll see about this one if it's not really reselling well. I will take it to Plato's and I'm sure they'll pick that one up for me. This is a heavy piece, but it is really nice. So this is a men's J. Crew jacket. It is like nicer than a pea coat, like fully a dress jacket. Um, it has moon quality British cloth is the fabric and the other side says J. Crew size 42. Um, I was really excited to find this. I love to sell J. Crew jackets and this is such a nice one, even though that it was definitely a little costly since I'm paying by weight, but this one was worth it to me. We have a pile of some kids pieces. These are all the same brand and this is definitely a brand that you should know. Um, and that is Little Sleepies. And pretty much any time that I go to the bins, you hear me say this, but definitely make sure to be looking for bamboo pieces. Once you've touched a couple, you will know from the feel of them in the bins. They're insanely stretchy very soft and you can kind of just tell how they look. So this is a pair of frozen pajamas. They have quite a few Disney collabs. So these are the first pair that I found. And we have some monsters. And again, just insanely stretchy. I don't know where the match to these are, but these ones are just polka dots. And then this one is not like a set. It's like a full sleepy piece. And again, just crazy stretchy. And um, they all sell really great. Anything bamboo has a following, but each brand definitely has its own following. There is definitely some interest in little sleepies. The couple of pieces I've found before have sold really quick. So I'm always looking for bamboo stuff when I am in the bins. We did have another tie and I can't believe that I forgot this one because this one is the true designer piece. So this is Dior. I have found a couple of Dior ties before. Some of them are nicer prints than others. This one's a little dated. It's kind of a paisley design but we are not leaving Dior at the bins. So if I don't feel like selling this one, I can certainly send it to The Real Real and they will sell it for me, but I will probably list this one myself. This is some more great brands to know. This is Reformation. Um, I mostly find dresses from them every once in a while, some jeans, but um, mostly dresses. This one is really cute and white. They're sustainable and great um, materials most of the time. I actually found another pair of Little Sleepies. These ones are ice cream. I forgot about this pair, but I was so excited to find all of these. They were all in the same bin. And that is oftentimes what will happen is, especially with kids clothes, you'll just come upon a pile of, because everyone's donation is you know stuck together. So you'll just come upon a pile and you just grab it all and that's when you get lucky. That's the fun of the bins is you never know what you're gonna come upon when you're digging. This someone definitely put back. So this, the Reformation dress and one other thing were together in a pile that I'm 99% sure was someone's go backs. This is Ghani, which is a great brand. This is just a hat. 
Um, not sure if it's supposed to be, yeah, it's probably meant to be rolled like that with the label on the outside, but um, made in Italy, wool blend. Um, if you can find dresses in this brand, it's great. Um, they kind of have done a rebrand, so some of the older stuff, not the best, but if you find more current pieces, really good brand to be on the lookout for. Some more Abercrombie jeans. These are the ankle straight in a size 14. Um, they have some knee distressing. I did find one more pair of Abercrombie, but the knees were really ripped. So definitely make sure that the distressing isn't overly distressed, um, like where the knee has split. Um, and I found one pair of Abercrombie jeans that I am keeping for myself that I'm actually wearing today. They are awesome. I love their jeans. If you have not tried them for yourself, definitely give them a shot. We've got another hat. This is a little kid's North Face one. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna sell this myself or the Real Real does take North Face. I will make very little, but I probably won't really make very much anyway with this one. So might send it to the Real Real or thread up but it's a really cute little piece and very lightweight. We have a little kid's set. So I don't know if I would have picked this up if I found just one or the other because this brand, Monica and Andy, they make some really cute stuff, but it doesn't have a great resale value. But I figured as the full set, it might. Um, it's a size six, seven. I don't know if it's boys or girls, it definitely could be unisex, but I thought this was really fun. If I look it up and it really has no value, then it will end up at Once Upon a Child. We have some Altered State here, and we don't have any stores by Altered State around me, so it's pretty rare that I find it. This is a very free people type style with the kind of backward seams. Um, I wish this was my size because it looks super comfortable but um, just a really cute piece. Probably get around $20 for that one. Have some Zara, and this is like the 70s marble abstract sweater. Um, thought this was a really fun style. Some more Lily. This is white label or white tag Lily. Um, which this is like early 2000s to like 2008 ish, I believe. Um, this one is a little girl's classic shift dress with this fun turtle print. Um, the kids pieces from this era still do well. The women's stuff is kind of hit or miss, but the kids pieces, um, definitely do okay. Especially the classic shift is one of the most popular styles of Lily that you can find. Some more free people. I think I've sold this shirt in other colors before. It is that like crazy boxy wide shirt that kind of hangs once it's on you. It's We The Free. This is an extra small, which is just the craziest free people sizing, but I usually get around 15 to 20 for shirts like this from them. This is Old Navy. I was considering keeping for myself, but I think I'm gonna list it. Um, it is like a very fuzzy eyelash style, um, really soft. We have some anthropology. I did not find very much anthro in these two hauls. This is Maeve. I think this is called the Priscilla Top. It's got like little short flutter sleeves. Very good condition. This I was hoping to keep for myself, but it was too big for me. It is a new tags romper from Loft, and it still has the belt and everything. I love rompers, even if they aren't the coolest style anymore, but it's very current and it is plus size. So anytime you can find new tags and plus size is a win. These two pieces I actually found on two separate days, but they kind of are giving the same vibe. They are both the brand Kissy Kissy, which is a good kids brand. 
Um, it's sometimes bamboo. I don't think these two pieces are. This one is a sleeper with kind of a Noah's Ark print. And then this one is more of a little romper and a different kind of animal print. This one has a little yellowing on the collar that we are going to have to hope we can get out, but it's such a cute little style. I think this one is meant for little boys. The other one is probably baby girls, even though either of them could wear whichever, but I'm guessing that's what they were intended for. This is T, which is definitely a little kid's brand that I like to pick up, especially at the bins. Um, this is a really cute bunny print. I will probably get between 15 and 20 for that dress. And I found another one from T in the same size. And I would not be surprised at all if they end up getting bundled because that happens a lot with kid stuff. When I have same brand in more than one size, this one has strawberries on it. I love this one, so cute. Both of them are also very current. Um, I want to say they're 2022, 2023 pieces. Some more free people. This is just a tank top, but when I looked it up, it's a fairly popular style. It came in a couple of different colors. Um, very boho festival. I can't remember the name of that one. We have a nightgown and this is Oscar de la Renta. Um, it's the pink label and this is polyester. So I'm guessing the pink label isn't one of their top labels, but it's still a really beautiful midi length nightgown with some pretty lace and embroidery at the top. So I think I should still get at least like 20 bucks for that. This was an adult set that I came across and it is brand new with tags. It's just Princess Polly, which is a fast fashion brand, but that's okay, especially new with tags. I do take this brand to Play-Dohs often, um, but since I found the full set and it's brand new, I'm going to list this one. It is called the Peyton Long Sleeve Navy Floral Set. I don't know if it, it kind of looks like pajamas, but I'm thinking it is clothes. We have this dress from Zara and it kind of has some safari vibes to it. It is khaki, um, kind of a denim material with this really cute cut to it. Um, I did find the model photo for this one and um, will be listing that one myself. Sometimes Zara photos are really hard to find. And they don't always have style names, so sometimes it's kind of a pain to list Zara stuff, but that one wasn't too bad. And this one, I definitely need a little more research on. The brand is called The New Society, which when I looked it up, I'm struggling to find anything on Poshmark from them. But their website, like this shirt probably retailed for about $200. So it is this very cottage, prairie style shirt um, with like a grain sack print on it. I think it is a linen blend. Um, it reminds me of um, Christy Dawn kind of, but we'll see because if there's nothing else by the brand on Poshmark, it's gonna be a really hard sale even though it did retail for so much but if no one is looking for it, then I am not gonna have very much luck selling it. This is a brand I have had some good luck with, so that is Fresh Produce. Um, I don't know if they still make it anymore, but um, it's all like cotton and linen, um, very beachy summer styles. Um, you know, you'd find it in like beach towns and that kind of stuff. Um, I've mostly sold dresses from them or cover-ups, um, but this shirt was cute. This, I think, is the only other anthropology piece we have. And the brand is Vinay Ball, which I'd never heard of before. I threw it in because it felt like silk. 
um, and ended up looking it up after. Um, it does have the 66170 RN code, but when I looked the brand up, this I thought this was maybe like an old piece of anthro, but it's actually pretty current. And this brand, the dresses retail for like $500 and even the shirt was over $150. So we'll see how that one does. I wasn't finding any of that exact shirt, but they do have some pieces on Poshmark from that brand. Um, and some are doing pretty well. So I was excited to find a new Anthro brand. This one, the brand is Bridget Bardot. But I don't know if this is connected to just the brand that's just Bardo, but I loved the style of this. It's all embroidered. I think it's probably like a beach cover up or tunic, but it's a really pretty piece. Um, hopefully you can get like 20 bucks on that. I wasn't really having great luck finding that brand. We have some Torrid. This is a midi skirt it's a size 3x and it's like a prairie tiered skirt but in black really good condition i definitely prefer to pick up sizes like two three four in torrid find that those do the best um in terms of that brand this is a little pouch that i think was supposed to go inside of a purse um I think this is the brand Claire V, um, but the tag says Claire Vivier, but I think it's that, which is a very good brand to find. Obviously this is just a little pouch, but if that's what it is, this should still sell because someone may want this for their purse or just a fan of the brand and we'll take this. So hoping to get like 25 for this. If it's the brand I'm thinking it is, if it's not, probably not worth very much, but it's definitely real leather, so. More kids. These are a pair of pajamas and the brand is Picolina, which I think is a good brand. I'm hoping if it's not, like I said, this will go to Once Upon a Child, but I'm pretty sure this is a good kids brand, so I'm hoping to sell that one myself. And this one I did not look up, but it is also bamboo, insanely stretchy. It is the Wonder Suit, which I had not heard of, but it's this really cute sports print. If it's not worth anything, you know the deal, but I liked that one. We have this teeny tiny bralette from Urban Outfitters. It is so small, um, but cost a penny at the bins. This was a fun one because um, it had a huge stain down the front. Looked like someone spilled their lunch down the front of this really nice North Face vest. This one I did look up. Um, it retailed for $199. It is from the 550 down collection, but the stain came right out. So um, I was thrilled with that. And um, you know, this one will be an easy list and hopefully it's probably gonna take a while to sell, but it should sell for some good money when it does. Here was the other polka dots of those pajamas. And we have another bra from Urban Outfitters. This one is a little more lingerie style. Again, costs essentially nothing. Just a couple pieces left. Another J. Crew jacket. This one definitely needs a lint roll, um, but it is another really nice piece. This one's a double zero, which is the only downside, but everyone does need coats and um, I love to sell J. Crew coats. So then we had a really awesome pile and these were in the same bin as all of those Disney shirts I showed you before. So I came across five pieces of figs. These two obviously still brand new in the package. 
They are the high-waisted Zamora pants in an extra large. This is the raglan top, also extra large. Those are obviously a pair in the same color. Then these are a pair of pants in a large. These have a tiny, I think, bleach mark on them, but I will absolutely sell them anyway. And those are more of a navy blue. And then we have this pink top, also brand new with the tags. This one is the Katarina One Pocket in a large. And none of these have any kind of embroidery on them. Um, so they're not, you know, sometimes you come across figs and it has like the doctor or the hospital embroidered on the sleeve or the pocket or something. Those don't have any embroidery. And then the last piece was this gray top. This is kind of the one I've found a few times with the two pockets, but that was such a fun find, especially for them to be new with tags. Um, I was really excited to come across those. And then the one kind of accessory we found, I don't know how you say this brand. I don't know if it's as cool as it was a few years ago, but I've never come across it. So we've got this little backpack and I'm looking forward to selling this. Um, if they are not really popular anymore, I might just take it to Play-Dohs because they will definitely still take it. But um, I was pumped to get that. And then a last, but certainly not least, is a designer that I have never heard of before, and that is Henrik Vibskoff. And this is from the John Nut Piece Collection. And this was a runway piece. So this is a long cardigan. It buttons all the way down, long sleeve. It comes to about knee length, I would say. And it was from the 2016 um, like fall runway collection. And it retailed for about $900. So just a really cool, fun sweater that I was picking up one way or the other. And then just got really lucky that it retailed for $900. Um, there was not really any of this cardigan listed, but there was some of a sweater in this same print that was a crew neck and those were listed for around 200 so i'm probably going to aim for about that price point see how we do and go from there but i'm really excited about this haul i have a lot of work ahead of me but thank you for watching please make sure you subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you next time